What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Peak. And today we are talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector. So this connector allows you to connect to your Office 365 Outlook environment and you can do a bunch of things like different triggers and different actions based on that. So the one that we're going to look at today is a trigger for when a new email arrives. So an email is going to come into a folder or an inbox and then we can trigger something based on that. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a list of my uh, triggers and connectors here. And the one I'm going to use is the Office 365 Outlook, um, Office 365 Outlook connector right here. So I'm going to search for it, it's right there. Then the one we're going to look at today is when a new email arrives v3. So I can click on that and we can uh, see the the item it's asking for first is the folder that this is going to go into. So you can actually click the picker and actually see the rest of your folders. So you've got like your sent items, your outbox, your inbox, and any other folders you have in here. So this is handy because what this is going to do is this is only going to trigger when an email hits that certain folder. So in this instance, if you have any Outlook rules that maybe move folders into a, move emails into a certain folder, it means that this will uh, this will still uh, be able to understand that. So if you move things from like you know an automated email or a, or a marketing email um, thing into a marketing folder and you want to do some automation on that, this trigger allows for that. So if I leave it at inbox for now, and then I click on show advanced options, we get all these options. Now notice all these are um, all these are optional, so you don't need to include these. But we'll go through which which what each of these are. So all of these are filters. So these allow you to filter and specify when this flow is going to run. So we have two CC, two or sub, two, two or CC, and from. And each one of these is recipient email address separated by a semicolon. And if any match inside of here, the flow will trigger. So in this instance, if you receive an email from say matt at gmail.com and you have that in here, then it'll trigger the flow. And it will trigger based on if any of those email addresses match. So you don't need to have a flow for you know each one of the email addresses. It's going to uh, it's going to understand if any of them match that criteria. So it's the same for two and CC, two or CC. So this allows you to specify one or the other. So if you're if you're only CC'd into an email, you may want to do something like you know delete the email or you know it's not important, move it to another folder. You could you could have a flow that runs on that. Or if you want, if it's two or CC, you could then do some automation based on that. Um, and then the from is the the address that is coming from. So two is the fact that it's sending it to an email address. From is the who it's coming from. Um, include attachments, yes or no. Uh, this again is going to say, are we going to do anything if the if the email that comes in contains an attachment? If it's no, it, that's not what's going to trigger it. If it's yes, then it is going to trigger it that you know it's not an attachment. Let's do something. Subject filter, again, we can use a string to filter out the subject line. So uh, if the subject contains something like, uh, you know, D365, we can then do some automation based on that. Um, and if it doesn't contain D365, then this isn't going to trigger. Uh, importance, we can specify, okay, if I get a high important email come in, then send me a notification on my phone sort of thing. So trigger this flow and send me a notification on my phone. Um, and only with attachments. So this is another flag for the attachments, which which is basically saying, okay, if the rest of this criteria is true, then that's great. But only if it only has attachments, and if we set to, set that to yes, it means that only if the email comes in and the rest of the rest of the triggers equal true, are we actually going to trigger this flow? So unlike the attachments one, where we can filter it, say you know filter yes attachments trigger the flow. Uh, we can say only with attachments we actually trigger this flow. So we can um, trigger it based on if you know it's from a certain person and it has attachments, we can get this to trigger. And those are all the options. So what we'll do is we'll add in a new step and we'll just uh, stick in the propose action in for now. And then in the propose action we'll just take out some dynamic content. So we'll take the from address. So who is this uh, coming from? Uh, we'll take the subject, and uh, is there anything else we want? Oh, 
sorry, that's my clipboard. Um, we could also take, so we've got a couple of things, has attachment, yes or no, I guess. Uh, attachment content, we actually get a content of an attachment, for instance, uh, the HTML. Uh, let's get uh, has attachment and see what that comes back with. So once we've populated this, we can then test this. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. And what we'll do is we'll go over to my email and we've got my Gmail here and we're going to send this uh, power automate test. Hi there, did this trigger a flow? Thanks. Matt. So we've got the flow running at the moment and what we're going to do is we're going to hit send on this and we're going to send an email to that uh, email address. So we'll click over here. We'll go over to my Outlook. So this is my Outlook in the web because it's a bit easier to work with uh, for stuff like this. And what we're going to hope, hopefully see is an email come in. So we've got an email come in here from direct365geek at gmail.com. Uh, it says, hi there, did this trigger a flow? Thanks, Matt. If we go back to our flow, we can see it's run successfully. And we can see we've got some, some inputs and outputs here. Um, and then we click Compose Action and we can see those data, those pieces of data that we put in. So we've got the email address of the from, we've got the subject, the Power Automate Test, and we've got does contain attachments or not. It's false because I didn't send anything with attachments. So based on this, you could do you know various other things. You could like say, if an email comes in from a certain address, then we need to do something. If an email comes in and hey, my boss is CCing onto it, then I probably need to you know look at this quickly because they're going to be looking out for me to, to be actioning something, and only if it's coming to me as like a participant and not me and my boss at CC. So there's loads of great things and loads of great ways you can use this trigger to to filter information to do loads of cool stuff. Um, so as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, uh, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button on my channel and just stay up to date with all the latest videos. And I'll see you next time.